thanks to the subscriber that uh, mentioned sweet chili sauce to go with like that fried rice, that zucchini fried rice I made. So since I have these cayennes that were supposed to be jalapenos, oh that one's no good, um, I need to mince them up. This is not quite fine enough. In fact, I had to sharpen my knife with a steel because uh, these need to be minced really, really fine. And then uh, what else? Grate some ginger, uh, grate a garlic clove, and then just the sugar, white vinegar, water, cook it. If these turn out good, then I'll have something to do with all these cayennes, and I can maybe, you know, freeze some small jars of it. We'll see how it turns out, though, first. All right, I am going to call that finely minced, and then I'll use my microplane for the garlic and for the ginger. And I'm going to put everything in this little pan here. It calls for a teaspoon of ginger and a garlic clove that looks about right, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, and three tablespoons of white vinegar, three tablespoons and a half of water. This knife and this uh, wooden spatula so that I don't touch these again with my hands and burn my eyebrow again. And that's what it looks like before I simmer it. It's just to simmer it for five minutes. Let the flavors all blend. So let's get that on the stove. I'm using yesterday's pickle spoon, which is still stained with turmeric. That will not hurt anything. Well, I didn't have a Thai chili, so like I said, I used my cayennes that were supposed to be jalapenos. Uh, now I have something to eat the next time I make my fried rice, zucchini fried rice, or stir fry. I tasted it, which, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't just taste chili sauce straight up. Uh, try it again. It's it's warm. Yeah, we need <coughs> we need some food. To <coughs> Quite warm. Take my word for it. We need some food to go with this. I won't do that again. Until next time, this is uh, Lori Feichter with My Indiana Kitchen. Ciao.